Everybody was poor. My father was out of work for about three years during the Depression. I remember standing as a child, uh, there was a Princess Elizabeth doll in the window, and I wanted that doll so much. And my mother said, you can't have it, we can't afford it. And my father, for some reason, <laughs> bought it for me. He'd buy her anything. But I, I do remember those, those times. There's no question that the fair got people to think positively and and the future would be better and uh, that was the, that was the whole purpose it was to stimulate this this get out of the doldrums and get out of the well, yeah, depression but mentality but it was an opportunity to see what the future would look like It, it didn't have anything that touched down on the drab reality that we lived in. We would see uh, futuristic homes and futuristic kitchens. GE had put up a structure where they created lightning, and you'd hear this enormous explosion and lights all over the place. They had a rotolactum, the milking of the cows by machine. My first look at television was in the 39 Fair. They had an exhibit set up where they would photograph the people outside and then electronically show the picture inside. My feeling was if it, the picture went from one room to the next, you know, what was the, what was the big deal about television? I think on that note I was wrong. Technology was way ahead of the rest of us. And the promises that were made that in the future, all automobiles will fly upside down at 40,000 feet. Ford was there, General Motors was there. You saw the roads of tomorrow. It went on the parachute jump, and the parachute, it went up, 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 and you hit the top, and a big parachute opened, and you floated down. These are things that we had never seen before, never imagined. 